Okay, so we're going to make a landing page in Sketch completely from scratch. So now, um, every project you you work with or you work on, you want to start with a goal. Um, my goal is to make this landing page um, for a new project I'm starting called Sketch to Sketch, which will um, allow people to hire me to um, create their uh, their hand drawn sketches into a full fledged mock up in the uh, in the Sketch app. So uh, let's get started. First, let's start with a rough uh, layout. I already have something I drew on a pencil and paper, but I can't show you that, obviously. So let me do a quick wireframe of it. Desktop is fine. Um, now, the goal of a landing page is to get users to convert, which means take uh, get users to take some sort of action. So in this case, I want them to sign up for my email list. Uh, to sign up for this email list, people need to have an email opt-in and all that. So let's get started. Just we're going to press R for a simple rectangle tool. And here's my quick little nav. Then we have our um, heading, our main heading our headline, subheading. Then I want a little video or like a little ebook picture right here with a quick little description underneath. And then I want a third heading with some bullet points. And now what you can do instead of having to draw these out, you can actually, um, I pressed shift and down for that. And that actually, uh, let me show you what I'm actually doing. I downloaded this cool little plugin called Nudge App. Um, typically, I think it's like 15 or 12 or, uh, pixels for a big nudge, but you can change it depending on the base you want to work with. I usually do 16, but let's let's try a base of five. So 15 would be good. And now you'll see. 15 and instead of having to do this even this all over again you can simply hold down alt and drag this out this is a uh, just like Adobe Illustrator or other Adobe programs and after that like uh, just like Illustrator you can control D it up cool I just want three bullets underneath that we're gonna have a the main opt-in form this is where they put the emails this is a big, big ass red button that's gonna tell them submit here or send me my list or whatever. Um, underneath that, let's make this page a little bit bigger. So this is gonna be essentially the fold, but people want that want to kind of learn more about this, they can scroll down below the fold. And underneath that, we're gonna have a different, totally different um, body background. Let's take off. Okay. Now let's do another heading. Main benefit of why you should sign up. And then the big S uh, browser video thing it's for an embedded YouTube link. Underneath that, um, you want to social prove this, meaning that you want to show that real people are using it and they've actually on some sort of value from whatever you're doing. Actually, we're still wireframing. We don't need text yet. It's just, here's another heading. And this is cool. So you can, if you didn't already know about this on Sketch, um, do Control, not Command, Control L. You get your layout. And a layout is pretty cool. You can change shit around in it and uh, really kind of give yourself a good guideline of what to do. A 960 is fine for our purposes. So essentially I want three main, I keep pressing a T instead of R, T is what gives you this type. We're just wireframing right now. So I want three different um, testimonials. So um, this is a 12 column grid. So 12 divided by three is four. Um, now I want a square. So the way I do this is like in other programs, shift. I can eyeball it too. Oops, 
Cool. See how it snaps to the columns? That's kind of cool. Uh, this is actually a bit big for... Um, Okay, this could work. And then underneath that is where I want the, uh, the whatever they say. Um, so we'll grab this, Alt, do that. Let's do that one more time. Boom. Okay, we have our little profile pictures and testimonials. And let's make this a little bit bigger. Underneath that, we have um, another final call to action. What essentially is going on is um, people that kind of check your landing page out here might not be convinced yet, then they watch this cool video, and then they get some uh, value from the actual testimonials. And then instead of having to scroll all the way back up to sign up, we'll just have another cool, really big opt-in form here. So what's going on is um, let's do another background to make it stand out. And then, uh, then you do another um, heading, opt-in, and call to uh, submit button. Actually, underneath the, or above the heading, let's do, um, some more bullet points or a little bit more info and with that you have your footer with footer links find out more or links to the actual website and then up top i just want the brand name right here because we're not really linking to other websites or services so this is what a quick and dirty wireframe looks like. Now you can press Command-0, actually Command-1 to make it zoom out to fit the entire project. Command-0 goes to 100% magnification. So this is what you'll see in the browser. This is it zoomed out. Okay. Of course the paddings and everything are pretty shitty because we aren't worried about that. We just want a general layout. And I think we have that. So let's save this as oops, up test. sketch. Cool. Now let's um, let's work on our style tiles or our style guides before we start with the actual mock-up. Just press this, and you do styles. This one is home. No. Landing page. Actually my ADD is kicking in super disorganized right now. Before we work on our styles, let's work on the mobile um, layout of this. Mobile is going to be pretty easy. Press A. Um, go here. Press A for um, getting these little Templates, it's cool. Uh, Sketch gives you the exact um, screen dimensions and resolutions for all the iOS devices. It gives you iOS icons, even material design um, sizes, and then you have your standard print paper. I've actually never used Sketch for print design. Might be cool someday. So anyway, let's go to mobile. And instead of having a copy paste, let's just make it a rough thing. You have your <clears throat> you have your um, nav, not nav bar, but header. You have your heading, subheading, video, call to action on the video, your main bullet points. center all this up. Okay, 
and cool. And then input button and then have your uh, videos right here or your main video and then you have testimonials So we're not really um, worrying about the exact pixels or even alignment, really, just a rough layout. The whole concept of wireframing is to have something to, in bigger companies to hand off to a designer so they know exactly what they're doing. Since we're doing the entire design ourselves, from sketching on paper to full-fledged mock-up in Sketch and probably even code it ourselves, we don't really need to worry about these formalities. After, after all this, we have a final call to action area. So doing this. Boom. Okay. Boom. And we just need this thing now. It's probably going to be copyright, blah, blah, blah. Check out my website and design by whomever. Something like that. Now, uh, control one. Okay. We have our mobile layout. Okay, now we can move on to styles. For styles, I don't like using something uh, do, 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 artboard, where are you? Okay. I don't like using a huge screen for for style tiles because we're just going to be doing this. Now you can press Control R for your ruler. I, I usually do 32. Let's do 20 right now because we're using a base 5 increment or a base 5 grid essentially. We're at 768, so it'd be 763. Actually, no, we're doing 20, right? Yeah, we're 748. Cool. Okay, let's do this now. First off, you press T. Let's do our H1, or our main heading. Heading one. Um, let's let's for the fonts. Roboto is good for generic. Open Sans is good too. And I have some uh, palettes I like using. I never use strict black or strict white. I often use uh, shades of gray. Because in the real world, you never see everything pure black or pure white. Even a sheet of paper, the way light reflects on it in real life, you're never ever going to get a pure white unless you're shining a light through the back of it. So for for the heading, we want it to be more prominent than the other headings. Let's just do a hex of two one two one two one. We have that, and typically uh, forty eight would be good, but since we're doing base of five, fifty is not bad actually. Let's yeah, we're at a hundred percent mag. Hmm, fifty is not bad. Line height. Let's do. Try sixty. Try. This is it. Yeah, that's not good. Let's do 60. Actually, 65 might work. 65 is good. Yeah, 65 is good. I like it. And we're all set. So let's, um, actually, now it should be auto and aligned right. Okay, so we're we're doing H one. 
because that's the CSS name for it or HTML name for it. So it makes sense, especially when you're not working on this project all by yourself. It's always good to name things the way they will be named in HTML because that's the next step from, um, from the design aspect. That's good. Let's, um, let's add a ruler right here and let's move down 20. Oops, be right here. Cool. Now let's um, make another one, our H2. So since this was 50, let's do 40. And why not? 55 is not bad. And auto and Da, da, da. H2. Now notice, um, since this is already chosen um, a style, since already connected to a style, notice what happens when I press H1. See, it becomes bigger. And if I change anything here, it's going to reflect. Let's do 55. See how it reflects everything that has uh, the, the style of H1, kind of like CSS. Very cool, right? So let's uh, move back to H2. Do a little thing. 80. Now H3. I, I would speed this up, but people, the few people I've had so far that have messaged me about these videos have asked me to really talk through my design process. So that's what I will be doing. Since this was 40, let's do 30. 30 is a bit small. 35. And I have an idea for this. 35. 45 is good. H3. H3. And instead of the blacker one still more of a gray gray is good oh and uh, let's make this bold the h1 that's nice and bold let's make this semi bold it's good let's make this semi bold that's good as well Now let's do H4. I think we should stop at H4 and then work on our paragraph text. This was what, 35? Let's do 30. Actually, no, let's do 25. And 35 for the header. Auto do do do. We won't make it um, the lighter color that this was. This will probably just be semi bold. And H four. Cool. Now we can work on. Huh. The alignment was off. That's weird. So, 300. Now we can work on our paragraph body text, which is super fun. Now, in I installed a plugin called Hipster Fill. So you can you can even do this. Control T, and you can find these plugins just googling Sketch plugins. Uh, one one is good enough. Now we definitely don't want that. Let's do a 15. 15 is a great size for body text. And let's do 25 uh, for the line height. Is 25 good or let's do 30? 30 is a bit much, so let's do 25. 
and um, regular is good. Let's see how it looks with the lighter color. Okay, let's. Uh, oh, I actually really really like this. In fact, let's uh, we can change this color now to this lighter color. Now it's um, everything's good to go. Let's make this into a textile. Let's call it body. Cool. Um, now we just need. Let's go back to our landing page. What do we need? Headers. Okay, we need. Um, we need these call to action things, which can be super easy to make. For for a call to action, actually, before we do that, let's uh, make these into a group. Call typography keeps everything nice and organized. Much unlike all this crap going on here, um, let's do our styles for the text input. So press R to do that thing. Alrighty, so um, for the fill, let's do white. Is it 250 is good. Um, so essentially, this is where people type in their email address. That looks a little too wide. And let's eight. Okay. Now, um, let's add some placeholder text to figure out our dimensions. Email at gmail.com. Let's make this 15. And line height of 25. Yeah, whatever. Um, make this a little lighter. And let's make this, how long is this? 50, let's do Okay, now, um, no, that's too much. Check. Let's check out our. Um, I'd like this to be seven hundred flat, so we can figure out our dimensions. So let's do um, seven oh five. See how we like that. Seven oh five. Seven oh five. Seven oh five is good. So we have that here, 730, 735 is where we would want this to be at. And let's do 200 for this actually. Uh, 250 is not bad in case someone has a longer email address. This, uh, let's add 20 to that. Okay, let's get rid of the ruler. So I want this to look like an um, input, text input field. So let's make this darker and let's add a little radius to it. Five is good. And let's add some inner shadows. The basic inner shadow here is good. It would not look good if we took out the border it's okay in the, this sense, but look, I, I like the border and adds a little oomph. It tells you where to put your um, mouse so you can enter all your crap. Let's look at it. It's not bad. Very bootstrappy looking. Uh, we can change the colors later. For now, right now, let's add a shared style. Input text because that's what it is when it comes to HTML. Let's turn on our rulers again. 735, 745, oh, let's 755. Okay, and now let's, um, let's add our big ass submit box.
Okay, we'll work with this in a bit. Let's do the background for this link. Okay, don't need for borders. Now, I like using a nice shade of red. Oops, not for borders. I just tell you. Mm, this color. So the way I come up with these colors is fairly easy. You uh, open up Chrome, you do flat uicolors.com. And there it is. Um, I like using either of these. If you want a better color palette, a more extensive one, go to flatuicolorpicker.com. There it is, go to red, boom. I think I'm using Flamingo or Cinnabar, EF4, E7, yeah, four. yeah, it's Flamingo. So um, you have your get your text for this. Um, let's make this white. 15, that's good. Um, actually, let's make this a little bit bigger. 20 and 25. Let's do a... Um, Uh, let's do a margin of 10 on the top and bottom, and margin of 15, actually 30 on the left and right. Where is this at? Actually, fuck it, let's, um, let's just center it up. We don't need to march on the left and right, it'll be centered. Um, 300, 300's good. And we'll just center this bad boy up. It, if you really wanna measure how to center it, select your top thing first and then your background and you do this and this, there it is. Um, let's, let's make this. So 30 would be a good thing, and let's center it up. Now it looks much better. Okay, um, we don't need this anymore. Let's add a little kind of shadow right here. Not an actual shadow, like a flat design type shadow. Um, with Sketch, it, it's, it's a little different. It's not hard at all. What you do is shadows. Typically, you in CSS, this would be a a CSS thing. Um, it, it would be a border in CSS. Let's do this and to get the blur. Now you're, you're left with this cool little border. This is with nothing. One is too little, two is good. Five is a bit much. Let's do two. Just check this out. Cool. Um, let's center this up. I like it. Um, let's add a little disclaimer. Oops, not that. Let's do a text. Um, doesn't need to be 15, let's do 14. Do light and
make this even smaller. Let's do 13. Cool, I like this. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. Actually, we could even add a bit of shadow. That's better. Like this. Okay, now we can um, make this into a symbol. How you do this is create symbol. <laughs> and you do button CTA. Cool, so now we have, let's group this up. Let's call it call to action, CTA. What else do we need? Let's go back. We need our little, hmm. Oh, we need um, our footer links and our top link. So let's make a big ass div. No border, but let's make it dark. Oops, no border, buddy. Let's make it dark. That's good. And On this one, now links, link, singular. Uh, da, 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 da. What else do we need? Yeah, we we have most of it. Um, it's not landing page. Let's call it wire frame. We're gonna make the landing page in a bit. Okay, we're uh, we're ready. To get we are ready to get started in the actual design process now, unless I'm missing something, which I am not. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, I'm not really missing any crucial details. We can, well, I have a rough sketch laid out on pen and paper, but the cool thing about design is it's an, it's an evolution of your, or, or of your original idea to what it's going to be in the future. So let's do this. Page V one. Okay. Artboard desktop. Let's drag this baby out. Cool. Let's get started. Um, first thing is first. Let's do a thirty five. Thing. We're going to be making this thing. Now, let's do a darker one right here. 4A, 4A, 4A. These are global um, colors that I've, I've been using for a while and they've worked well for me, especially these grayscale colors. I haven't added too much um, like color to my designs, so I typically use these grayscale colors and um, I've actually gotten them from Material Design. What you can do is Material Design Palette. And this is most of it. Right here is where I've found most of them. 757575, 4A, 4A, 4A. Actually, let's try 424242, four, two, four, two. see how that works. Hmm. There we go. Cool. We just found a new color for my stuff. Four two four two four two is good. Now let's uh let's do a quick old thing here. Um Call it sketch to sketch. Make this now blink auto. Now, if you want to zoom in specifically to what you're clicked on, press command two. There you go. 
No, that's a little bit too much. Let's do five is good. Actually, let's try ten. Yeah, ten is good. I like some line height. And this is twenty, ten to be at forty then. We have our first section of the site. Let's call this header. How cool is that? Now let's let's try the main headline or the actually the main call to action area right here, um, which is this stuff right here. Now I've I haven't really gotten all the way into the copywriting part of this, but I do have some rough copy I'd like to try out. Copy is another word, an industry word for the verbiage on the site, and it's very important when you're when you're looking to um, get conversions. Let's do... Uh, da, da, da. Something like that. Let's do H1. Remember, it's shift down, so one, two, three, four, five, six. Actually, no. Let's go back up um, and let's try one, two. It's a good area for this stuff. Let's the only thing I, I, I wish Sketch did different is as you're adding elements, it should go below the existing elements. Like when I added this, it went above the header, and that's not how I see my files or like to organize my files. So that's one thing I wish they did different. So we have a 60 um, in or 60 pixel margin here. Let's add this so we can measure it easier. Now I don't want a 60 pixel margin between this and the subheading, so let me do um, 15 half of that and let's do So H3 here, it's a little too big. Okay, I like this more. Actually, let's do H4. H4 is good. Um, let's try 600. No, let's try 500. Let's try 450. 450 is awesome. So it's cool, it's also like an arrow type, kind of guiding your eyes down like that. And let's go back. Here it is. Here's where it ends. 15 and then let's add 30 to kind of close this area of off. See how see how uh, what I meant about it adding it to the bottom? Let's move it down. Um you can do all this moving at the end but I find it's easier to um to really keep it organized as you go. Now below that Let's check out our wireframe. I'm actually looking at the paper right next to me, but yeah, video and some title. So video, um, we don't really have anything to to put in here as far as images or assets go. So let's just do this. It did that weird off canvas thing because I hadn't selected which uh, page or artboard in this case I wanted to move 
work with. So as you can see in the wireframe, it's, it's half and half to lay out. Let's go here. So six is half of 12. Let's do this. And one, two, three, four, five, six. That's good. Um, let's add something underneath here. And let's do H4 once again. And we're up top, flush to it. Let's see if that looks good, actually. Um, we might need an H5, actually. Let's go back. Heading five. H four was H four was twenty five. So let's make this twenty and thirty for that. Let's do semi bold. And let's do this weird color. But super easy, 350, this up, cool beans, oh let's um, let's add this house, um, so I made this smaller, I need all that block, area. Um, we made this H5 into um, its own thing right here. So we could, let's come back, so we can use it for the landing page. Um, the area underneath this stuff. It's a little bit smaller. I like this. Now, um, 460, let's not do 460. Let's do this. Okay. It's not bad. Let's shift it down. No, let's not shift it down that much. Let's do shift down five. Okay, cool. So now we're going to work on this area, which is a quick little, this is what we do, or this is what you get, and then three different benefits via bullet points. So now rectangle. What do I keep pressing rectangle? text. Um, H4 is perfect for this one. Let's figure out Um, this is what the service is going to be good for. It's going to be good for designers who have maybe a lot of work on their hands and want want the overall design they have in mind, but they don't want to have to like go through all the crap of designing a website like we are right now, and they simply don't have the two hours, three hours per page that it might take. So they might want to farm it out to me. Or... Designers, who else? Developers are always looking for great designs. Uh, I wish I could do back-end development of any kind. I'm 
envious of people who can, but they might not make the best designs themselves, and that might not get them to um, communicate whatever they did, whatever it is that they're trying to make or sell or whatever. Or even if they have a portfolio site that they want to show to potential clients or employers, while their programs might be awesome, they're the, the portfolio site might be ugly and it's going to p- make any um, prospective boss, or employer, or uh, client just leave the site. And also, it, this might be great for UX designers or actually project managers that have an idea in mind that they want to have their team do, but they don't have the budget maybe for a full on design development team. They can kind of get this quick little um, mock-up and send it off to developers. Okay, of course I don't want it this big. Let's do... No, let's do body. Cool, I like that. Beautifully. I learned how to spell this from Bruce Almighty. Project managers. Bold and bold. Um, a quick little thing here. So what we're going to do is now I get to press my rectangle button and this is the input field. And let's go back to our styles. Let's go to, let's make this a style place holder. So that's a 25 um, pixel high font or text. Go back. So I want a 10, um, 10 pixel padding. So 25, 35, 45. Um, is that what we're looking for? Let's do boom. See how cool that is? Actually, we can. Um, and then we do insert symbol here. How cool is that? Let's do a quick um, this is very horrible copy you never say get your free guide now like what the hell am I getting in this guide you want to be specific but in this case I don't have my copy um, ready quite just yet so we have to make do free guide cool I am liking this when does this end Boom, boom. Okay, that's where I want it. But when you are doing copy, you want to have some sort of immediate action today. Yeah, okay, cool. Uh, let's. Okay, let's tr- see it. It's not bad. Perhaps um, we, we could make this smaller. I have an idea of what to do. 
400. Three fifty is not bad. And this is what I want to do. Kind of envelop this into its own little. <sighs> Let me show you real quick. Uh, da, da, da. Let's look for a nice blue. Actually, no. Let's go back to flat. Let's go to blue. I want a nice light blue. Hummingbird. That's nice. Let's try that. That's not bad at all. Let's actually add this to my root. How cool is that? Um, actually, I'm kind of second guessing this. Four eighty, four sixty-five. I am liking this. Okay. Um, actually, I wish we could make. Is there something lighter than that? It's the lightest one they have. Oh. Yep, that's the lightest one they have. Perhaps we can. Um, Now it's looking better. Um, where it is this ending? That's a weird place for it to be. Um, do, 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 do. Now it's better. Let's add 15 to that, so it'd be 35, 40, 50. Now let's add 30 to that, so it'd be 65. That looks much better. Again, the shortcut for layout is Control L, and for rulers, it's Control R. Now, um, let's add nice border radius to this. Um, I'm really not liking how uh, dark. It, this blue is because it's decreasing the contrast right there. Cool thing with Sketch is it sh helps you show either RGB or HSB. Like HSB, let's do instead of 97, let's do 98. Or even 99. Let's see what 100 looks like. 100 is not bad. Okay, I'm liking this too. Let's add this super light blue. Haha, <laughs> cool. Sweet. Um, let's put this into a group called. Let's move it down just one tiny bit. Give this stuff some breathing room. Again, design is as much about white space as it's not. Fact that's fifteen more. Okay, now I'm liking it. Perhaps it'll be better if we add Okay. So this is what people will see. Uh, da -da -da -da. I want to add some sort of arrow here. Just go to symbol. 
shape. Now it's time to rotate this 180. Let's do 200. Let's see. Snatch, snatch. Kind of where sketch is into da 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 da. Let's see if we can make this darker blue, perhaps, or perhaps red. Uh, so darker blue, definitely. Let's leave that for now. Um, let's. We're definitely going to revisit this because right now it looks kind of weird. Um, it, without this, there's nothing really guiding the the, the visitor to this section. Uh, all this information is relevant. Um, actually, I might even add an arrow pointing this way. Oh, let's do that. Let's do. Uh, shape arrow and cool. Here's being weird. We'll find an SVG in a bit. Move on to um, this area. Go to wireframe. This nice little area. Um, it's gonna be easy. Let's go here again. So what is all this stuff? This is. I want to say what is this? What should we call this uh, group of things? Called bullets. Call this video. Now. Sample video. So now the fun part. I like making different sections. This can be a very simple, easy task. Boom, there it is. Um, let's call this video background. What we're gonna do is have another thing. It's 
two's a bit big. H3, H3 is good. One, two, 30 is good. Let's add our huge YouTube. This can 90% gonna be a YouTube embedded link or a Wist Wistia embedded link. Um, let's do 700. Uh, 600 600 is good and let's make it 350 high and this and let's check out our thing uh, do, 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 do. This is a little weird glitch that always happens. I'm trying to um, snap to something. It like it repels like oil and water sometimes. It's weird. But then again, Sketch has only been around a, a year or two, um, just on their third version. I'm sure they're going to be really, really improving things soon. But even from the get-go, this pro this software is miles ahead of Photoshop when it comes to des designing apps or websites, and because it was designed for this kind of thing. Uh, da -da -da -da. This is where it might come handy to kind of do something like um, hoverboard. Triangle. Rotate this 180 and don't want this. Want. Cool. So it's essentially guiding your eye throughout the journey. Height, let's make this 200. See how you're kind of, it flows, just like this arrow shape right here. I want, I'll probably even add some stuff here pointing upwards and then when you're watching this, you're guided downwards. It's not a huge subliminal trick, it's just literally like visually guiding you down. Um, next up, let's look at the wireframe. Oh, this is cool. Uh, let me pause this, I'll be right back. Okay, I am back. Let's, uh, where were we? Okay, yeah. So now um, we're creating something for right here. So the the really huge at the, at the end of the page type of blah, 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 blah. Okay, so I'm back and where were we? Okay, so we have made our heading subheading main opt-in area we've made um we've made this kind of video explainer thing if people want to find out more and then had this little subtle arrow pointing down towards what we'll make here is the really big call to action actually no no we're gonna make this um testimonial section um let's go back to here organize this a bit cool 
All right, now we can jump on to um, is where it would end. So let's add 30 to that. 30 is good, I guess. H4 is a little small. H3. Oops. Okay, let's look at that. I like it. All right, now we can focus on doing some cool things. Okay. Press O for oval, I guess. Uh, 300. 300. So I'm liking. Okay, let's just do this for now. Make sure aspect ratio is right. Let's do 200 middle. Cool. This is just good. Let's do 150. That's better. So it's going to be little um, showcases of our little headshots of all the people. And some text. And let's do paragraph, body, control T, boom. We don't need a full pair, like. This is about how long a good testimonial is. So let's do none. It's weird. So let's take 15 away from both ends, 270, and then M. So what does that? Shift this down. Shift this down. Like not so far. And 15 more. So you get 15 right here. <coughs> then you want quick little diddy. Um, Can be H five auto. Oops, you don't want to do that. Let's track this down to forty six. Why? Oh, okay. Forty five. And 
and you want 60. Okay, cool. So this is what it looks like now. Um, let's see. This looks better with Okay, I like that better. Let's get back to R. Sixteen, let's do Fifteen, then this let's do another thing of 30 so be 50 You want thirty gone, so it'd be two seventy M. Cool. Okay, and now let's group all this together. Call it testimonial. So we alt click this, and boom, and now we can do this. Cool set. Actually, we can make this. Of uh, border radius five's good. Let's see ten. Mm, five's good. So yeah, there's no super 
rigid theory that I use for any site. Just kind of go with the flow, see what looks right. Um, you can practice theory of aesthetics all you want, but at the end, it's what feels good for your project um, and what works. And I might do a whole video on style guides later on for more intensive, like 20, 30 page websites that need it. But for like a simple scrolling page website or two, three page website, you don't really need something like that. What else do we need? Okay, now we can move on to, um, actually let's click all these first. anymore six five let's do ninety five A little border again or background. Well, actually, let's make this blue. Um, no. Okay. So um, now we need is something that says. It's going to be very simple. Go back to our styles, and this is what I want to use. Let's add a placeholder or call it light. Let's go back, call it light.
out to uh, seven, five. All right, let's do three, two. Cool. Um, we can. back and we can actually move all this up a bit um, let's add a little triangle now uh, da -da 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 -da. I've had. Um, see what white looks like. Oh, it's it's looking like an envelope now too. It's kind of cool. Let's do three thirty. That's kind of cool too. Actually, what if we made it this? This could be this. Now oh, we're starting to get somewhere. Okay, now you have all this. And now we just need our footer. It's going to be dark. Okay, um, let's add. What do we add up to the top? Forty. Okay, and then this was fifteen. Let's 
it's a 10 padding. Cool. So I click here, control two, 95. I I, actually, let's make this good. 700. Coin sketch. Cool. This can be brought up. And let's add 10. Let's see. Do something like and nav link. Let's do another ten. So um can thirty away, let's do have other things to worry about here. Tell to four. Fourteen. And let's do um designed by creatics. That's my web design company. Actually, no. Before we zoom out, we need to uh, trim this page. Perfect. Now let's zoom it. I feel like we should add something here. Um, let's make this footer. Add And then we'll probably get an arrow thing that points down as if this weren't enough. Uh, da, 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 da. Let's um, zoom out. It's not looking, looking good. Um, maybe take off this arrow. I will probably do that in a bit. But yeah, for now, it uh, looks really nice. Uh, next up, we'll just work on the mobile um, layout for this. So I'm probably gonna make a uh, another video. It's this video has been going on for about an hour, so I'll just make uh, separate this into another video and you watch that there. Thanks.